Well, most students could tell you the story of Rosa Parks, but few have ever heard of Dr. Emmett Bolden. Bolden was a dentist in Grand Rapids who challenged segregation laws back in the 20s. News 8's Whitney Burney uncovers the hidden history here. Here on Lyon between Ottawa and Monroe, you'll find the Fifth Third Building along with a few other businesses. But 100 years ago, it was the Keith's Theater. It was there that one of the first black dentists and lawyers here in Grand Rapids would change the course of history. In the early 20th century, theaters were a pillar of the American social scene. Certain patrons were allowed the best view. Even though uh, Michigan had a civil rights law on the books since I believe the 1890s, it really wasn't enforced. And the operators of private businesses like theaters had a, a, a regular practice of only allowing black patrons to sit in the very worst seats up in the balcony. But one December night in 1925 would be the catalyst to change that here in Grand Rapids. When Dr. Emmett Bolden, one of the first black dentists in the area, attempted to see a show at Keith's Theater. He and a friend went to the theater. Uh, they tried to buy a seat on the main floor and they were refused. They uh, were told they could only sit in the balcony. And then, of course, the next people in line behind them were white and the theater operator sold them seats on the main floor. Dr. Bolden then teamed up with the NAACP and attorney Oliver Green, the first black man to join the Grand Rapids Bar Association, to file suit against the theater. In the first trial, they lost. The court ruling that private businesses could refuse service to anyone. After they appealed, taking the case all the way to the Michigan Supreme Court, a landmark victory in the case in 1927. The justices ruling separate but equal accommodations were unconstitutional. Despite the magnitude of the case, only national black publications covered the story, local papers never touching it. People don't want to think about the racist history in Grand Rapids and they don't want to confront it, right? Rosa Parks happened in the South. That's far away. We all know that there was racism in the South. And so um, even at the time, the people in Grand Rapids didn't want to confront that. A plaque put up in the 90s where the theater used to be to commemorate the work of the civil rights activists has since been relocated. The story is now housed at the Grand Rapids Public Museum only. So you see uh, his photo up there. Which While the story is in few textbooks, the impact of Bolden and Green's work is evident. But I do think it's an important milestone, one that we can look back on with, with a little bit of hope and pride and, um, you know, sort of remember the, the important steps and sacrifices that people had to take to get us further down the path to where we are today. In Grand Rapids, Whitney Burney, News 8.